If you signed up to vote absentee, you should probably already have your ballot right now. You know, in 2020, more than 2.6 million people chose to drop their ballot in a box versus voting in person. Yet election workers still think that they're going to see a healthy turnout at the polls. It's really an unpredictable race, and it's anyone's game at this point. We've got some heated primaries this year, and I think that you know, that's going to attract a lot of people. Come August 3rd, you'll see five Republican candidates on your ballot. Tudor Dixon, Ryan Kelly, Kevin Rinke, Garrett Soldano, and Ralph Reband. Some candidates, including former Detroit Police Chief James Craig, have also been pushing a write-in campaign. Whoever comes out on top will face sitting Governor Gretchen Whitmer in the midterms. Oakland County Clerk Lisa Brown says since there are partisan primary races, Michigan voters cannot split their ticket and can only vote in primaries for one party. You're going to see Democratic and Republican candidates in two different columns on your ballot, but you just have to stick with one. Brown says a reminder about split ticket voting is included with every primary absentee ballot, but voters still make the mistake. Make sure if you do fill out both sides and mailed your ballot in, call your clerk to flag it as invalid and have a new one sent. With important races happening at local, state and federal levels, Brown says you want to make sure your vote is counted. Every election is important. There are things on the ballot that affect your everyday life. We have a lot of communities that have millage proposals and school districts and all sorts of things besides partisan races. I do want to correct myself. The primary is on August 2nd and make sure if you do plan to vote absentee, you get those ballots in by July 29th and you're going to want to submit them to your local clerk's office by 8 p.m. Reporting live this morning in Southfield, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. Yeah, it's a good reminder. No split ticket voting. You have to vote for only one party in the primary. Thank you, Alex.